fucked him with the his new, tail. The, <laughs> that's the down B skewers through Mario. Which is a crazy thing to put in an announcement trailer for a character for a children's game, right? It's like, like it's like a jump scare. It's like Mario a mature rating dies. jump scare. <laughs> Mario And then there's dies. the Sephiroth trailer where it's just like, shink. Yeah, well, that was really cool. I'm creep Hooba right now, Oops. though. Uh, I was gonna say racking up some damage, but now OJ Wadler actually the one in the driver's seat. Ah, this is Super Mario, baby, and it might be a Yahoo to the heavens for you. Able to get the up Whoa. B almost off the top, but having that DI unlock, that's still a very explosive start here. Again, the life of a heavy is just that you, especially a big body like Ridley, you know you're gonna get comboed like crazy. And Mario is a character that, in particular, uh, is just does really well with these kinds of characters. Can constantly keep up this pressure and the combo game. Yeah, and really, what they're gonna have to deal with is OJ Wilder pressing hell of buttons on their shield with the nair, trying to just land with a tomahawk grab, even falling up here to get a conversion. You can see how Kripu was playing very preemptive yeah. with all the F-tilts and everything, just trying to keep OJ Wilder out of that space. But at the end of the day, it's still Mario. They can blow you up. And it seems like Kripu might be losing a stock off this ledge as OJ Wilder is able to let this rip. But it's been working out for Kripuba so far, this slower playstyle, because after what was a really bad start, he has brought this all the way back to an almost even game. Uh, that backer not going to be enough just yet, but Kripuba now has to fight his way back on the stage. Good yes. spot dodge timing there to avoid that grab. However, he is off stage once more. Yeah, Kripuba playing it very smart to ledge here, mixing up of how they're going to plank how they're just going to get back on stage, which I can see why Kripupu waits at ledge a lot to see what their opponent's going to do and get that information. Yeah, definitely. And now using those fireballs at the ledge. No stocks have been lost yet, and we're almost two minutes into this game. Finally, the forward tilt from Kripupu will take that first stock from OJ Wadler. Yeah, and OJ Wilder already wanting to end this Ridley, but wow. it was two frame city. Okay, I, I really like that attempt as well with the downward angled up B, but he wasn't able to find it, but it doesn't matter. 68% already onto OJ Wadler's second stock until he finally eats an up smash for his troubles. Yeah, and now Free Poopa having the percentage lead is able to play their game just a little bit more. Not able to get situations on the platform kind of rolling with the up tilt and the up smash as well because OJ Waller just be getting out from the corners very very well and like getting inside of people's space very nice. well but here we go yeah that up smash just covers the entire platform man like there's nothing that you can do about it you get put in a tech situation and you don't hit the tech on the platform creep has got you nah this is every day this character terrorizes this region he's like I'm used to it at this point <laughs> And there are a lot of people in this region that uh, slowly but surely are becoming Ridley believers. They think that this character is a lot better than people give it credit. I've already converted. I'm You've a believer. converted? You're a believer? I'm a believer. I'm I, so much of a believer. I, I think I've been there for a while, even before we started having this many Ridleys in our region. I've been a Ridley believer ever since, like, Locust played this character way back in the day. Locust played this character? Yeah. I had no idea. Locust was like a Ridley doc for a while. That is... That's the most weird amalgamation of characters I've ever heard. Of. Yeah, no. But oh, it good seems like use of them. Yeah, it seems like this uh this game one's coming to a close here, wouldn't you say? Yeah, this is looking like a wrap for OJ Wadler right now. Creep Pooba just doing a fantastic job and yeah, that's it. Dragging him all the way across the stage and throwing him into the blast zone. Yeah, you're not getting skewered, but you're definitely getting dragged all <laughs> yeah. across. And such a visceral attack, right? It's one of the more violent looking ones where he just drags your face across the ground as he's moving. Yeah. That's one of my favorite things about Smash Ultimate. It's like they made the characters super expressive, like with their moves getting hit and everything like that. Ridley is also one of those, those characters where it's like you feel like their personality, like they're vicious. They're very visceral, you know? An aggressive kind of beat. Yeah, definitely showing a lot of emotion, a lot of characterization, which is just a, a testament to how good the design team for these games is, even if they make some questionable decisions, like now, the existence of Steve, but... <laughs> I know you see Small Battlefield here, and you're immediately thinking in your head, it's like, oh, this Kripu will win the set. Kripu will win this. <laughs> it's like, it's a stage where Kripu is very familiar on, but it's also a stage where Mario can very much excel, getting a lot of combos on the platforms, much like you're seeing right here. Not able to continue it though, but that's the main game plan with Super Mario over here. I mean, yeah, outside of like maybe a tri like Battlefield, I do think this is one of the best stages for Mario. Just that extra 
added layer of those platforms being on both sides, allowing for those combo extensions. Uh, it's just something that Mario really likes. And OJ Wadler right now apparently taking uh, full advantage of it. Yeah, and trying to trap this air dodge as well. Kripupa is definitely looking for these up tilt scoops, yeah. but it ain't going to lose to that Mario head going strong. Yeah, an up uh, forward tilt on the shield will get you an up smash up the jaw, unfortunately for Kripupa here. And right off the bat with a down air at low percents, OJ Wadler is getting something going. Yeah, Oos wasn't able to get the get-up attack there, allowing Kripuva to get these Eftils going up strong and try to call him out, trying to land as well, but OJ Wadler trying to make some magic yeah. happen, and there you go, baby. That is what he's cooking. That landing up air, as soon as he hit it, I was like, oh, it's over. Great forward tilt, though. The upward angle forward tilt, perfect sweet spot to take the stock, and Kripuva showing some signs of life as well. Yeah, it's like in the back of my head, it's like, yeah, I know this is a pretty good stage for Kripubo, but like at the end of the day, you have to overcome Mario on small battlefield. And OJ Waller is letting everybody know that this is a character to be feared with their crazy, crazy combo game. Yeah, absolutely. Not a character that you want to mess with at these lower percents. Good use of the forward tilt again. Kripubo is so good with that timing just to get people off that ledge. Now boxing a little bit into the corner here. Good up airs. Wow, and going for the forward air instead of like an up B or something. Interesting extension. Yeah, I imagine OJ Waller basically wants to put Kripupa in the corner, but it seems like Kripupa is the one putting OJ Waller in the corner here, trying to trap him and keep him there with these F tilts and these arrows as well. Yeah, now just dancing back and forth is OJ Waller looking for that forward smash, looking for something. A neutral air to send off stage. Not going to be able to take the stock just yet. The forward tilt, not enough this time, even with the uh, the sweet spot. Yep. But an up air, finally, from Kripuba will take the stock off the top. Yes. I'm genuinely surprised that he's going for all these forward air extensions instead of just uppies off the top. I was expecting, honestly, the down air, which is a really good kill oh. option in a DI mix-up that Mario's have in their toolkit. But we are down to the wire here. This may be OG Walder's potential last game here at Winners, and you can already see them fiending for it with the up smash and trying to get a tech chase as well so they can get that S smash nice and rocking. Great fade in and out by Kripuba with those forward airs, and I mean, 150%, but Kripuba is definitely one to win these. I've seen him win these. This I know. Is... I've seen it too many times to happen. It's like, Kripuba don't win those 200% oh. with rage and everything. Makes a reverse three stock. Okay. That up air, if it was a sweet spot, was it. And right now, he's looking for something. A back air, a forward tilt, not quite enough. Oh, Ooh. trying to call out a neutral get up, but OJ Wadler chose to roll that time and the up smash will be enough. Game number two for OJ Wadler. Yeah, Kripuba missed spacing the F tilt, costing him that game. That, that was very down to the wire. And now we're seeing a game three, which is honestly what I love to see. And I believe it's the the first game three we're seeing here on the, the main stream. Yeah, uh, first first game three of the, of the tournament so far, or of the stream at least. Yeah, you already know those pools going mad strong out there. Yeah, geez. All right, we got, oh, oh it's a Washington Nationals hat. I don't know why I thought that was an Orioles hat. Uh, anyway, we got OJ Wadler versus Kripuba running it back to small battlefield as well. Not switching anything around this time. Yeah, I imagine, you know, Kripuba wouldn't, wouldn't want to give OJ Wadler the weapon of having these platforms. You've already seen that explosive combo game in that perfect falling up air into the forward air, but all wow. right, trying to clean up this game plan this time around, he keeping did, things nice and even. He did the exact same thing like four times in a row where he did down tilt and then tried for the forward air, but OJ just kept air dodging Oops. it until it became true. <laughs> yeah, and all right, there we wow. go. There's the DI mix up, baby, but Kripuba still hanging around town with that 108. Wow, and what a great, like, you'd think that when he was in that kind of situation, Kripuba keeping calm under pressure, able to find the down tilt into the forward air and taking that stock rather quickly. Yeah, and OJ Waller trying to get this trap in very strong. Wasn't able to get the S smash, unfortunately. It still has to do a little bit of work if they want to take this first stock from Kipuba. Yeah, and OJ Waller using those up airs very well here. Every time he throws one out, he's finding the openings that he needs. All right. Do it. What do you do? I yeah, what do you do <laughs> in that situation? I got hit. I don't know about you. <laughs> nah, I, I'm holding that. I'm holding that. I definitely am holding it there, but it seems OJ Waller trying to hold down this fort this time around, forcing Kripupa to go on that low. And honestly, at that point, 
they could go run off and get that back air and force Kripu with the untackable. But being a heavy still and having all this rage, I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, and a good, it's a good use of the neutral air. Oh, and I think that's it. Yeah. yeah. A great two frame with that forward tilt, taking all of the options away from OJ Wadler so that he could get that edge guard. Yeah, you are forced to air dodge in that situation. Now you got to make a crazy reversal, and this might be the start of one with the up smash, but we'll see. Yeah, OJ Wadler has been very consistent with those up smashes. Every time he catches Creek Kubo oh. rolling in, he is ready with it. But this is looking rough. Okay, just very smartly double jumping out of that situation and back to center stage for OJ Wadler. Yeah, and starting to utilize a little bit of Flood. Flood is pretty good, you know, giving your opponent like, hey, back off me, bro. It yeah. like pushes them back, gives you a little bit more time to think and cock something up. And now I already know OJ Wadler trying to get this damage on Barry going strong. And it was Ooh. just out of range of the falling up air. Very unfortunate, but we'll catch out with a little bit of upbeat here. Yeah, these up airs are just so good from OJ Wadler, but it's really looking rough right now. 94% needs to find something here because Kripuba is about to run away with this. Make yeah, sure these, they're not connecting. These back airs being so safe on the shield, but I already know Kripuba wants to blow up OJ Wadler. You saw that up smash. Yeah, I mean, he's looking for it. And the great neutral air off the ledge from Kripuba, just creating that space, creating that... Oh, the air dodge, unfortunate from Kripuba. A bit of an SD there. 109% on OJ Wadler, but this is still very doable. Yeah, this would be quite the upset if OJ Wilder would be able to take this from Kripuba, having all this rage, this 125, this last stock. And if it's any character, it's Mario that can make it happen. It's still hanging around from these dangerous back airs, from oh. these dangerous F tilts, and still, still hanging living, around though. town, baby. Yeah, I mean, Rage Mario is not a character yeah. beat. Never mind, he's dead. Never well, mind, why do I say anything ever? <laughs> Listen, it's the it's the commentator's curse. Welcome, you made it. You no, I, I I I don't know. Like, it doesn't matter how big I get as a commentator. I have the worst commentator's curse of any commentator ever. I guarantee it. <laughs> well, I know another commentator who, like just curses things into fruition. It's like a blessing. It's like a reverse curse. Blessing. It's a blessing. And I'm like, what is this? What what kind of commentator has blessings, not curses? No, I mean like. Uh, everyone has their own unique abilities, you know? Sometimes you speak things into existence, be that for better or worse. And I unfortunately constantly speak horrible, horrible things into existence. That is that is so unfortunate. It's like, yo, that's my go! And then you see, like, the, the Sephiroth back air coming up, like, chopping it yeah, off. It's, it's like, like, oh, well, well uh, that's, that's, that's the end of the It's like, oh, it looks like he might be... No, he's dead, actually. <laughs> Never mind. He's just dead, unfortunately. But that was great stuff from both... Kripuba and yeah. OJ Waddler, a very nail biter of a set down to the wire. Uh, I mean, Kripuba was at low percent on his last stock, but even still, Rage Mario is not yeah. a character you want to mess yeah, with. Like Mario got Mario got dangerous combos. Like you get up aired on a platform, you're like, yeah, you can catch it with up B, or you can like go for the DI mix up. And it's like, oh, now I gotta play the gap.